Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and I just uh, had to run away from the house again for another Screamer escalation. Um, so I, I'm trying to get uh, an opportunity uh, to lay some spikes down. Now, granted, I'm doing this uh, not on purpose, but knowingly, I guess is the way to say it, because of the fact that, uh, you know, I keep the forges going. But the thing is, is if we want to get, you know, if we want to get our... Um, Horde base ready. I, I gotta keep making stuff. I just I just have to, you know. So how in the hell did you get in the yard, dude? So let's uh deal with these guys and see if we can get some spikes down. Now I'm, the spikes are very effective against screamers in vanilla. I don't know how effective they're gonna be here in Ravenhurst though. So um alright, well let's do this. Let's go get our spikes. So I've got, how many do I have made up? I have 103 made up. That's probably not enough to surround the whole place, but we'll get started with it anyway. And then we're going to want to grab iron too so we can upgrade. And um, let's put this stuff in here for now. And we'll put the spikes down here and our nail gun. I found another nail gun overnight from a yellow drop from a zombo. Uh, so I've got like four of them now. All right. So what I want to do is the screamers usually come from that side. So let's see if we can get started over here before the next one comes in. Um, I should probably disable those shotguns just because they're not doing a whole lot of good. I mean, they're helping, but not significantly helping. And they're just causing trouble more trouble than they're worth I think so we're just gonna disconnect this uh, son of a bitch okay that's just such a pain in the ass you guys the problem is she calls in more screamers right if it was just zombos then we'd be fine but all right we got another screamer that way I, I need to do something different with the walls, too, because they, they can jump that gap. Uh, and I am planning on doing that just, uh, or, you know, climb up on each other's shoulders. I am planning on dealing with that, too. But, you know, one thing at a time here. Okay, where's that other screamer at? She's walking over that way. Okay, I don't see any screamers on this side over here so let's uh let's go this way and see if we can snipe this other one and i think i'm pretty sure i cut off all of the shotgun turrets by removing that that one relay i think there she is right there okay let's get in a little closer Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Did we kill her? Yeah, looks like we did. Okay. Never know for sure because I, you know, my skill is pretty much non-existent uh, with rifles at this point. But we will be working on changing that. So I wanted to um, I wanted to to line this bottom area with concrete, but I just don't know if I can do that practically at this point. That one's still connected, is it? Okay, here, let's just do this then. I might I probably won't even keep these shotgun turrets here. Okay, we gotta get these guys out of here because I don't want them breaking the spikes before I have a chance to get them all put down. So let's deal with them.
shit. Okay, there's another screamer over there. Let's get out here. Let's see if we can snipe her. This guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. Let's get rid of him first. She screamed. I don't think she's dead either. She is now. Okay. Well, at least uh, the zombos are kind of more over this way now. Oh, what a fight, man. These screamers are such a pain in the ass. But they always are. Nothing new there, right? It's just that everything is compounded in Ravenhurst, it seems. Okay. Okay, let's move in. See if we're finally clear here. Get everybody reloaded. Okay, I think we're... We have a momentary reprieve here. That's got to be fixed, too. Um, let's let me grab some concrete. I'm not gonna repair the entire wall, but anything that's majorly damaged like that we need to deal with. And in case we have any blocks that are completely broken out, let's grab this. Okay. It wouldn't be fun, it wouldn't be rewarding if there wasn't a struggle, right? Okay. Or at least I keep telling myself that. Let's repair this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay spikes down and upgrade them to iron. And hopefully, you know, that will be effective for us. Let's go to here. I want to get this first corner covered. Uh, first before anything else. I mean, we'll eventually do the whole thing, right? But So that gets us about halfway-ish. Okay. Now, here, can we just pick this thing up? Uh, looks like it's out of our land claim block range. All right, I'll worry about that later. Okay, how are we doing on iron? Pretty good. Haven't even used uh, that full stack yet. Okay, from here on out, I think what we're going to do is just kind of work our... Whoops, damn it. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to leave it that way for now. I'll fix it later. After it breaks, maybe. <laughs> um, normally I would fix it, but we're kind of under the gun here, and I just want to keep going with this while we have a momentary lapse here. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to just set it, all the rest of these, as many as I can, and then um, once I'm done doing that, we will, um, you'll, I'm, we're going to have to make more because, you know, we're not going to have enough, but I'll just keep working on this. Basically, I'll keep working on it until it's done, and then I'll bring you back at that point. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, I got all the spikes in place and upgraded and everything repaired, so... And it's been pretty quiet, actually. Um, probably speaking too soon and jinxing things, but i um, actually only seen one more Screamer since uh, I left you guys, and I just took her out with a sniper rifle. Um, but they're they're going to come any time, because I've got everything just in full, full bore here, cranking. Um, 
on the forges and everything else. I don't have anything going on in the kitchen at the moment. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab some resources here. So I want rebar and I want dirt and ladders from here. Let's also take these with us as well. And I want to make one. Let's grab all the concrete that we currently have. I want to make one. Don't think we need mortar. Um, one more wet concrete block. So let's get that going. And let's see, we're going to take some clay with us. We're going to take some wood. I'm like really low on wood now because I've uh, used so much of it for the spikes. But I guess we have another stack of it there. Uh, we need nails and probably screws. We might need to make some more screws here fairly soon. And that's probably good for now. What are, we, what are you doing? You're making ammunition. Okay. And you're making gunpowder. Excellent. All right. So let's head on out. I know I need, I got, got to get the garden harvested too, but we'll get to that um, at some point. Let's get on the motorcycle here. And uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build our horde base out this way. I want it close to the house, but not so close that the blood moon could potentially spawn inside of it. Um, and it's, you know, pretty nice and flat out here. So why don't we go like right over to this spot? I think this is as good of a spot as any. So what I have in mind here is I'm not going to reveal all of it to you quite yet. But I'm actually uh, have in mind a, a pretty compact uh, base design. It's not going to be a huge sprawling horde base. It's actually going to be, should be relatively simple. Um, and um, how much of the actual building of it I'm going to show on camera, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, let's anyways get started with it. I don't, and I don't know exactly what's going, how this is going to come together. I've, I've got a general idea. Um, so, you know, we'll just kind of, work it uh, from there and see how things go but let's um let's face north here and uh we're gonna do a little bit of digging actually you know what before we do that let's let's line up some some frames i'm gonna actually move this back over this way a little bit all right i don't like the ground that the ground's not on the love plane of the block here. Maybe if we move over here, yeah, it's a little bit better over here. So let's build in this, in this area here. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of start working on this. I'm probably just gonna time lapse this, and I may interject some commentary a as we go along. Okay, so let's do this.
All right, guys. So, um, I'm going to alt work on the the horde base for for tonight and go back home and go down to the mine and just mine like crazy because we're gonna need tons of concrete. We're gonna need tons of iron so we can make steel. And yeah, uh, so that's what basically what I'm gonna do. And um, I will bring you back in the morning and we will resume the build here. All right, guys, it's morning and we're coming out of the mine with two full stacks of limestone, which is the hardest resource to get uh, in quantity for uh, concrete. So we've got two full stacks there. Uh, let's get all this cooking up in the two cement mixers. We're going to grab all the steel that we have, top off the forges once again, and then go back to the build site and continue on. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to put all of the that stuff up there for now. Uh, we could get some more and probably should get some more gunpowder going. Uh, so let's worry about that after we get the cement going. Uh, so we'll just grab, <coughs> excuse me, uh, several stacks of cement, several stacks of this, several stacks of stone. And we need murky water, which we should be able to get over here. I made some more jars too, so that's another thing we should get going. Let's grab a full stack of murky. And then let's see, how many concretes can we do in here? 47. So let's do like, say, 27 in here. And we'll do the rest of them here. Didn't quite count that evenly, but it doesn't matter. By the time we come back, that stuff will all be done. Anyway, let's put this murky in here. And um, I'm not sure why I put the jars in there. And, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the specialty ores in the specialty ore box. We are going to need to start thinking about making brass pretty soon. I've got the clay in there just as overflow, by the way. Um, so, yeah, let's grab one piece of clay. Uh, we're going to need some wood. And let's get um, all of this. I think I have more, yeah, I've got more coal in here, so um, let's just keep, like, say, two full stacks of coal in here, and the rest we're going to use for gunpowder. That can go back up in there. We have 126 more. Okay, so let's start off with that much. Uh, we're going to need 62.44. Should be about right. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a quick look to at our our spikes and see how they're doing. Uh, but let's get going on some more murky water uh, too. So we'll fill these guys up. I've completely been leaving the garden alone for now because I have plenty of food. Um, and I just, uh, I want to get, we got to get this horde base taken care of first before we can, you know, tend to other things that need tending to. All right, so we're going to probably actually need about 60-ish minutes of burn time for all of this. 64.14. Close enough. Let's pull these guys back out of here and put them in here. Pretty soon we're going to be able to do ir irrigation and then we won't have to mess with all this uh, hand hand watering anymore. That will be nice. Put all the rest of this in here. Okay, uh, I want to bring nails with me and I want to bring screws with me. Uh, oh, you know what we need to do? We need to make more rebar too. Let's bring a stack of dirt and these extra wet concrete blocks. So for the rebar, uh, let's see, we want to reload. Let's just have this guy continue cooking stone. Got a whole bunch of stone down in the mine. I've got some storage bins down there, so I don't have to keep hauling it up here. And we're going to top off your fuel, too, and you're just going to keep on going, baby. All right, this guy, we want to keep making steel. And uh, let's do, get another batch of forged steel going, and we're going to grab what we currently have out of there. All right, let's grab a stack of iron and all the steel that we currently have in here. All right, 
I think we have everything that we need. I'm going to grab some cobblestone too, just in case we have to repair some stone that we might accidentally nick or something. Um, and then let's just grab whatever concrete's currently made and we'll come back and get some more of that later. I think we're good to go. I've got some extra, some black straps. Let's take a stack of that because we have more digging to do. Uh, that way we can use that for, uh, for stamina. And pumpkin bread is currently what I'm eating. Um, I'm short on carrots. So, I mean, I have plenty of food, right? But I'm really short on carrots. So I think we're just going to stick with the pumpkin bread for now until it runs out. Uh, I guess we could take uh, that dried jerky too. Uh, so the problem isn't that we don't have food. It's just that I need to prepare it, except for the shortage of carrots. Okay, let's take a look out here and see if any of the spikes are broken i heard some zombos on the spikes last night but i didn't really pay too much attention to it looks like we might have some damaged spikes down there let's just grab some uh, oh actually we already got the iron with us uh, we want this here do just some quick touch up right here I wonder if you can upgrade these to steel. I can't afford to do that right now, but if you can, um, that's something we might do at some point. In fact, here, let's just try it on one. Nope, it doesn't, so iron's the highest we can go. All righty, that's fine. Let's look around the corner here. That one got tapped a little bit. Okay, um, that one still looks banged up, but it's not giving me the option to repair it. Oh, okay. A little weird. It's just, it just wasn't showing the, the damage thing. Everything looks pretty good straight down here. Uh, what was that? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's head on back to the build site and keep on keeping on here. So what I did last night was I built, I started work on an escape tunnel that's going to go from our underground mine all the way back over to here. So the idea being is if uh, it looks like the base is going to be destroyed, we bail and we're all the way down at bedrock and then we just kind of run around. I might even set up some some traps or other things down there you know to to hopefully survive the rest of the night because if you're all the way down at bedrock it's going to take the zombos you know a decent amount of time to dig down to you and if you're moving around you know then that's going to even make it work better for you because they'll also try and move around with you where are you going okay so let's get up here we're probably going to have to fight these other morning hordies, but let's just um, go over here. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to upgrade all of these to steel. Well, we're, this whole structure here is going to be steel anyway, and some of it's going to be polished steel. Okay, so I wanted to get those done first just because we are going to, you know, enclose this. Um, but I, oh shoot, I didn't start any more rebar. Uh, okay, well we still have some more diggings to do first, so let's get that out of the way and then we'll go back and make some rebar, because rebar cooks up pretty quickly. Someone else coming in here. Yeah, let's just deal with these guys. Guys and gals.
uh, making pretty good progress. Uh, we have a screamer out there, so hopefully she will find her way onto our spikes. Uh, right now I'm just making rebar and... Oh, she just walked through there. Uh, making rebar, making steel. Um, we're going to have to go, um, or I'm going to have to rather go do some more mining uh, for limestone, for concrete. That's probably going to be our choke point, I'm thinking. Um, maybe eventually steel, but I or iron, but I've got quite a bit of iron still. Um, so yeah, we're working on that, and let's get... Let's get some more steel in here and we'll get some rebar going. And then let's see if that sleeper, or sleeper, um, screamer will actually oblige us and kill herself on the spikes. Um, yeah, so rebar's good. Steel's good so far, but it's the concrete that we're, like, you know, out of because of the limestone, especially. Uh, especially. So, I mean, we can make a little bit more here, I guess. But uh, not a ton, so I might have to just spend, depending upon, you know, how the rest of the build comes together, I might have to spend maybe like an entire uh, day, you know, during the day uh, mining stone too, just to get the limestone that we need to finish this project. Uh, but it's come along pretty good so far. And um, yeah, so I don't know exactly where we're going to be uh, in terms of the length of this episode. Uh, after I do the editing, I've just been doing a lot of recording of the, the build itself. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, call the episode right here, and um, when we pick up in the next episode, hopefully I'll have, uh, well, we'll probably just keep doing what we're doing. I'll probably continue recording the whole build as time lapse, because I'm sure some of you would like to see the whole entire process. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we'll do, and um, we, we have until... Uh, let's see, 105, we have until 112. Uh, so we're, we're doing pretty good on time. I'm not really too stressed about the time. Um, it's just, again, a matter of the concrete more than anything else, uh, getting it, uh, getting enough of it to finish this project. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.